What's up everybody, welcome to this video. In this one, we're gonna be making this cool product mock-up and guess what? It's not even really gonna be that hard. This is gonna be a unique video. We're gonna be using Affinity Photo, of course, as usual, but we're gonna be grabbing some assets from a site called Raw Pixel. Now, Raw Pixel reached out to me, said, hey, we really like your videos. Could you check out our site? Uh, this is not a sponsored video. I'm not being paid for it. They just granted me access to their site for a short period of time to check it out. So they have a cool uh, mock-up generator, which we're gonna use, and we're gonna grab some assets to build this cool thing between that and Affinity Photo. Uh, if you like what you see with Raw Pixel, uh, please use my link below, because if you do, it helps support my channel. And I'll leave another link below as well for some other stuff I use, like brushes and overlays. And uh, if you wanna use that link, if you are interested in expanding your Affinity collection, that also helps the channel. So let's get this going, let's get into it. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing I did was use their mock-up generator. It looks like they have currently over 11,000 items for mocking up all kinds of products and clothing. Um, I searched for can, and I ended up settling with this one here. Um, you can just upload your logo on it. I chose this one, which I made in Affinity Photo, and after adjusting the size, it ended up looking like this. Uh, I removed the original background and exported it as a transparent PNG. Okay, so next up, I used their elements section, and I searched under PNG for water splashes. So I'm looking for splashes I can put behind the product as well as some water condensation. Uh, and then I went on to try and find some fruit. Um, I ended up looking for JPEGs of berries, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries um, that I could use and take into Affinity Photo. So right here, I've taken some of these pictures into Affinity Photo and I'm using the selection brush tool to isolate um, some of these berries so I can bring them into the um, final composition and have a bit more control as to how it's going to look. Okay, so we're in Affinity Photo and I brought in all the assets from Raw Pixel. I have the water droplets and water splashes. I have the fruit um, here, the, the bunch of fruit, and I have the fruit that I isolated through those JPEG pictures, um, the berries there. And finally, we have the can where I created the mock-up in Affinity Photo, or I'm sorry, I created the logo, and the mock-up generator on Raw Pixel did the rest for me. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn all these things off so we can get started building this composition. Uh, if you wanna know the file size or the document size I'm using, it is FHD, so 1920 by 1080. And the first thing I'm gonna do is we are going to make a background. So to do that, we're gonna go up to Layer, New Fill Layer. And I'm just gonna drag this fill layer down to the bottom here, and by default it's white. And the color I want is like a purpley sort of blue, so I'm gonna drag my mouse up there somewhere and maybe something like Maybe something like this for now. Now we can change that as we go, um, but I want something kind of like this for the background right now. So that's a solid background. We're gonna add one thing to it. I'm gonna select the fill. I'm gonna add a gradient. So I'm gonna go over to my gradient tool over here in the tools menu. You can hit G on your keyboard. And with this selected, I'm gonna go to the middle of it. I'm gonna click, drag it down to about here. And then I'm gonna use this slider here, which allows me to control how much of each color. I'm gonna drag it really close to the bottom because I just kind of want that color at the bottom. And if you want to control this gradient further, you could go up to this button right here and edit it further, but I'm happy with it the way it is right now. And we're going to build from the back up. So I'm going to start adding these water splashes. So first I'm going to add this water splash and I'll make it something like that maybe for now. And I'll add the second water splash uh, right here. I'm going to rotate it like this, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And again, as we go, we will change it. Something to note, you can change the look of this water interacting with the background with blend mode. So with the this water one selected here, I'm gonna turn it on and off so you can see it. If I go up to blend modes in the top of my layer stack and I start moving these, you can see the water is gonna change the look of it depending on um, what um, um, blend mode I have selected. So something to think about depending on what you're working with, but I'm gonna leave it like this just for now uh, and then we'll edit it further as we need. So we got the water. Next up, I want to add the fruit. So I'm gonna add the bunch of fruit first, and I'm gonna drag this and make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like this, because the can is gonna be in front of it. I'll leave that there. So we got that. Now let's add the can. I got the can here. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, maybe something like this. And I'm just gonna adjust as needed. Also, I'll move the fruit over, make it a little bit bigger. I'm gonna make the water uh, a little bit bigger here because I want it to be. Uh, I'm also going to duplicate this water here, this this clear water three in my layers panel. Uh, on a Mac, I'm going to hit Command J. On a PC, you hit Control J to duplicate it. So now I have two. I'm just going to move it over, uh, twist it around this way so there's more water behind here. Maybe something like that. 
and that's okay for now. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, next up, I want to show you the can. So I uploaded this logo and this color, and this is what it looks like on the can. But because we're in Affinity Photo and we have more control, with the can selected, if I go down to my adjustment layers here, and I click on that, and I add an HSL, which is Hue, Saturation, Luminosity. If I click on that, it's going to appear in my layer stack. I'm going to hold, click on it, hold it, drop it on top of the can. Now it's only going to be affecting the can. Now I have this blue selected, which is like the can. If I move the slider, this will let me change the color of the can. So if you wanted something cool like this, like a bit more vibrant, you could change that. Uh, it's the power of Affinity Photo. So I'm going to just make it, um, I'm going to keep it pretty similar to what it was, but I'm going to make it a little bit bolder, like the blue a bit more brighter, maybe something like that for now. We can change it again later. This is non-destructive. We can always go in and change it again. So we'll keep the can like that. I'm going to make the can a bit bigger. And now I'm going to add some of that other fruit. So I had a blackberry, uh, which I'm going to bring in. I'll just do this. I'm going to duplicate this blackberry a couple times and just move it around, make it a bit smaller. Maybe about here, put another one over here, make it a bit bigger something like that. Now I'm going to turn on the raspberry I had and I kind of like where that is. I'm going to duplicate it, bring it over here, make this one a bit smaller, duplicate it again, bring it over here. Nice pop of red against this darker color down here. Something like that. And um, now the blueberry. I've got a blueberry here. I'm going to bring that guy in and that's actually fine where it is. I'm going to duplicate, bring them over here over here, make them a bit smaller. <coughs> and I'm pretty happy with that so far. Um, another thing I wanna do here is I wanna add a light kind of behind the whole composition to really show focus to the can. So um, with my fill layer selected, I'm gonna go up to, uh, I'm gonna click on the pixel layer button right here, add pixel layer. And when I do that, a new pixel layer appears on top. So it's above the fill, but behind everything else. So with that selected, I'm gonna go over to my tools. I'm gonna to grab my brush, my paintbrush. You can hit B on your keyboard. I'm gonna go over to my brushes over here. And the brush I'm selecting is uh, from this Dream Photography Pack and it's called Light Stamp. So it's pretty big. I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. I may make it uh, bigger, but I want the color to be white because I want it to kind of pop. So I'm gonna to go to my colors, change it to white. I'm gonna go right behind this can and maybe I'll make it, yeah, maybe this, something like this. And I'm gonna put it right there to really make it pop off a little bit. And I'll go back to my layer stack. Now, if I had this layer selected and I thought it was too much, I could always change the opacity at the top of my layers panel here by doing this. I want it to be bright, kind of like that. And now it's coming together, it looks pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna add some water condensation to this can so it looks cold. So um, I'm gonna grab the water drops, I'm gonna drag them up above the can so you can see them. And if I put it on here, you can see that if I do this, and I zoom in, oops, sorry about that. If I zoom in, it's gonna be, it'll show on his on his hands and you'll see this line, which I don't really want. Now I could change blend modes to make that a little uh, better. Um, I'll just try to shrink it as best I can to avoid it. And what we'll do is we'll clip it inside the can so it looks a little bit better. So now with my water drop selected, I'm going to click, drag, and I'm gonna drop it on top of the can. And when I do, now you can see it's embedded inside the can. There's a little bit of stuff here that I don't like so much. So I'm going to go to my water drops. I'm going to drag this over a little bit. And you can see there's a bit of a line here and some stuff here, which I don't really like. So what we're going to do, you could use an eraser for this with the water drop selected. But what I'm going to do is apply a mask. I'm going to go down here. I'm going to select my mask. Now a mask has been applied to these water drops. Now I'm going to grab my paintbrush. And if you know anything about masks, you can put a mask on and painting in black and white, you can conceal, reveal, kind of hide or put things back. I have a full video on masking, um, uh, which I'll link below if you want, if you want to check it out to master that. I'm going to go back to my brushes and I'm just going to grab a basic brush, a simple brush. And what I'm going to do now is painting in black up at the top right here. I'm going to start erasing this spot here. So you can see by his thumb here, if I zoom in, I don't want this on his fingers here and I don't want this line here because I don't want it to be seen. It looks a bit funny here. So let's erase that off his finger because it wouldn't be on his finger. Let's do that there. Clean that up and it looks pretty good. Otherwise, I'm going to erase it up here so it looks a bit cleaner. So uh, now we've got some water spots added to the can and I'll take some time a little bit 
to, um, I'll do this, I'm, I'll speed it up maybe, but I'll change the, the tone of the hand a little bit. I'll mess with the water a little bit more. But that is the main idea of doing this composition. I went to raw pixel, I grabbed the fruit. Um, most, Some of it was transparent, the water was transparent. Uh, the other berries, I just isolated myself in Affinity Photo. I created the logo. Uh, raw pixel did the rest by putting it uh, on this can in the mock-up which is awesome downloaded it transparent and this is how the mock-up came together the product shot so again i'll speed this up i'll do some stuff but if you found this uh, video helpful please tap 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 that like button and if you think uh, raw pixel is a good site and you you have some sort of use for it please use my link below because it really helps support my channel um it was pretty cool they reached out to me i appreciate it I'll also add another link down there for some design ass assets and brushes I use. Uh, it also supports the channel if you use my link, so I would really appreciate it. Uh, thank you guys so much, and I will see you in the next one.